Recently, one of my newsletter readers, Adrian, posed an interesting question. He asked, how do you decide between building a SharePoint framework web part, a full page web part, like a single page app or a spa, or a tab in Microsoft Teams? This could be a personal app or a channel app or even a power app. This is an excellent question to cover in this episode. I'll share my decision tree and what three big questions I ask myself for every app that I create. Hi, I'm Andrew. If this topic interests you, please hit that like button below the video. It helps me reach more people just like you and grow this channel. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel with the button below the video to see when I publish more videos from Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Azure full stack developers. And check out my bi-weekly newsletter where I talk about the same topics and share the most important news in the Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Azure space for full stack developers delivered straight to your inbox. First, let me address the Power Apps part of Adrian's question. And to be honest, I personally don't build Power Apps. Now, it's not that I don't have anything against the platform, but my primary focus is on customers and the types of apps that I uh, create are for full stack developers. It's also known as code first or web or cloud developers or pro devs. In other words, my typical audience tends to write in TypeScript, JavaScript, C Sharp, they deploy their work via continuous integration and delivery or CI and CD pipelines and, and actions and workflows, using Azure to host their resources, those kinds of people. I generally don't work much with no code or low code developers that are also referred to as citizen developers. Now, while I don't build or consider Power Apps, I didn't want to ignore this part of Adrian's question and imply that Power Apps are a bad solution. But I'm gonna let someone else who builds apps with Power Apps comment on it and they, the people who don't use TypeScript or JavaScript or C Sharp. I'm gonna focus primarily on just the uh, code first or the full stack dev option. I do have a question though. Do you create Power Apps and also have experience creating solutions with Visual Studio Code or VS Code? I would love to hear how you decide on what to build and when Power Apps are better suited for your solution. Drop a reply in the comments to this episode. Now this question doesn't have a single correct answer and it often falls into the it depends category. A response that we as consultants, developers, and advocates frequently give our clients, even if it elicits some eye rolling. Now, I usually start by looking at the target audience for my app, and then I consider what kind of an app would best suit this audience. The app's utility is paramount, and an unused app is gonna serve zero purpose. So if people aren't likely to use it, there's no point in building it. So I first considered my audience by asking, who is the target audience for this app? The next question I tackle is where is the audience, the target audience for this app, where do they spend the majority of their time? Does the target audience spend their time in Microsoft Teams or in the web instance of SharePoint or on SharePoint Online? Are they primarily using a web-based interface with these apps or do they bypass them and go directly to a website? If my users are primarily spending their time in Teams, then the app could be a good candidate for a power app that will run in Teams or a native Teams app built with the code first approach. If it's a web app, then a power app isn't gonna be a good, as good of a solution than a traditional web app, but you could consider adding some integration hooks into Microsoft Teams as Teams apps are really just web apps. Another question is, are these apps mainly accessed on mobile or is it usage is generally split between mobile and other devices? The mobile question can be, have a heavy influence. Power apps can be a very friendly tool for creating mobile apps, but so can Teams where the same app will show up in all available Teams clients including web, desktop, and mobile across all of the different platforms. Each of these scenarios presents different decision points and considerations. Another factor to consider is the nature of the application. Is the application what we're developing small enough to fit into a larger or different experiences that the users may encounter? Could it be a widget on our phone, like a stock viewer or a note taker or an account viewer, or calendar manager, or a task reminder? If the application is a small widget style app, then a SharePoint framework web part for SharePoint Online or an ACE component for Viva Connections, they might be the best fit. These are also designed to be one of the many things on a page rather than the only focus. Consider an iPhone, which can have widgets on different pages or the main page. Users might want to quickly glance at these widgets or have limited interactions with them. Alternatively, the application might be a larger, single pane or single window experience. Examples of this could be things like Outlook or PowerPoint or a spreadsheet app. Another type of application could serve as a second brain, housing your entire personal and professional knowledge base. Or it might be a CRM-based application or an app for managing projects or issues 
related to various development projects. For these types of apps, a Teams tab, like a channel app or a personal app, might make the most sense. Additionally, it could be a single page app, like a spa. This could be ideal if a user primarily operates within the web-based experience inside of a tab, both of which are well-suited to be a spa. If they don't spend most of their time in SharePoint, then it might be beneficial to use what the SharePoint team refers to as a full page app within the SharePoint framework, which is really just a spa in SharePoint Online. How do you consider where you're gonna build your newest Microsoft 365 app for your clients? What questions do you ask your customers or do you ask yourself before you start on a project once you've gotten these specifications? And what are your other deciding factors? I've shared how I approach this decision tree for what to build when uh, presented with this challenge. These are just my opinions, but I am really curious on how you approach this debate. Do you consider the audience? Do you consider the type of an app that you're actually building? Are there other things that you consider that I didn't mention here? What do you think? Let me know by dropping a comment below the video. I'd love to see your response to this and to see what other people's reactions are to your responses and our engagement and our conversation from that. If you like this video or you found it useful, give me a thumbs up, please. It helps me grow this channel by reaching more people just like you. And if you haven't already, subscribe by mashing that subscribe button below the video so you'll see when I publish more videos for full stack developers on Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Azure. And let me know if you wanna see more videos and episodes about creating Microsoft 365 apps. Again, I'm Andrew Connell. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.